Well, it's set to be a big week in Canberra. We've got both the House and the Senate sitting. PM, of course, back from that big trip across Asia where he met a whole lot of global leaders and key regional players. And as you've just seen in the package there, the writs to hold the referendum have this afternoon been formally issued. 33 days to go now until we all go to the polls to vote for or against Labor's voice to the parliament proposal. Busy times. Joining me now to get to his latest on everything and more, the Australian's national editor, Dennis Shanahan. Dennis, welcome. Let's start, if we can, with The Voice. Uh, it, it, I think it's, we start every week now, don't we, with polling on The Voice. The latest figures show 57% of voters are going to vote no, 43% only are voting yes. Now, if accurate, and I say a big if, a big if, this is a shocking result for the yes camp given that things have been very much weighted, including money in their favour. And it isn't just that the voice is unpopular. We've got the PM, of course, ahead of Peter Dutton, but he's taken a bit of a clip. He's now 43% to 28% on Peter Dutton as the preferred PM, but that has narrowed from where it was a month ago. So, Dennis, I'd say the gloss is coming off the PM. I think the voice is now an albatross around him politically. Uh, I reckon he's broken every rule that's in the book for a successful referendum campaign. Pollsters, Labor pollsters like Cos Samaras, they think this uh, yes vote's now in free fall. What's your take? Can he turn it around? Oh, look, everything, anything is possible in a democracy, uh, Peter, uh, particularly since there's $100 million now. The writs have just been issued today, uh, so we're into a formal campaign, and that's a lot of money for the Yes campaigners to spend uh, to convince people who are either, you know, undecided or soft no supporters to vote for the referendum. But you would have to say that the uniformity of all of the public polls demonstrate that the Yes campaign is in big trouble, probably on both hurdles to pass a referendum, not just a majority vote, but also a majority of the states. And I think that what we're seeing is a bleeding of that failing uh, Yes vote, uh, a failure in, in getting the referendum momentum going, bleeding into uh, Labor support and we're seeing uh, a change for Anthony Albanese as leader uh, for the first time in a couple of polls now since the election. His satisfaction rating is negative and we're seeing the coalition getting edging a front in, uh, in primary vote. Now, this isn't going to make any great difference uh, to the electoral standing. The Labor Party is still well in front on 2PP and the Prime Minister is still well in front of Peter Dutton. But these are significant changes and Anthony Albanese is paying the price as support for the Yes referendum falls. You and I have talked about this before. I mean, cost of living is, is number one, two, three, four, five issues for people, right? It is absolutely that in daylight. We're all talking about the voice because, I mean, we both regard it as a, a very significant issue. But out there in the real world, that's not paying the power bill and, you know, that's not putting the kids through school. But every time they look at the Prime Minister, he's either banging on about the voice or he's getting on and off a jet going overseas. Now, to be fair to the PM, he's in the middle of summit season. It is like this for every Prime Minister come this time of year. But the optics of it are not playing his way. No, they're not. And, and, look, you do feel sorry for Prime Ministers. They have no choice. They have to go to these things. There are so many now. Look... President Biden just didn't go to ASEAN. He just said, no, I'm not going to go. Uh, and, of course, the Chinese didn't go either, the G20. But what is what is what we're seeing is that the Prime Minister talking about things which people are not primarily concerned with. Yes, the voice is important. Yes, relations with China are important. AUKUS is important. But people are more concerned immediately with their cost of living. And this is the main problem. When people get asked and polled and they're asked about the voice, they get annoyed. There is a growing resentment mm. towards the government over the voice. And we have seen every time the government has a big launch, you know, whether it's a Johnny Farm song or whatever, support for the vote, for the yes vote, goes down. So the more people see of the mm. referendum, the less they like it and Labor is paying a price.